WHBF-TV, Rock Island. Channel 4, this is Action News at 6. Good evening, I'm Wendy Ellis. And I'm Paul Meinke. While some economists are predicting that the recession is bottoming out, there is plenty of evidence to dispute that. Normally stable Caterpillar Tractor Company, which had to lay off 3,200 workers earlier this summer, will now be laying off another 2,500 employees over the next two months. No worker furloughs are planned for the huge Davenport plant, but 50 people at the Bettendorf facility will go on layoff in early October. I've been expecting it. Bound to come. Uh, it, uh, it just makes sense with the way the economy is. It's, it was just a matter of time that we'd probably have a layoff. I, that's the way I figured it anyway. It's pretty dependable industry. It, worldwide, so it'll bounce back. I'm not too worried about it. In addition to the layoffs, most of the Caterpillar plants across the country will shut down for one week beginning November 3rd. That's unprecedented for Caterpillar, and there may be additional shutdowns at some plants later this year. CAT is predicting that its 1980 profits will be below last year's, in part due to the recession, in part due to the lengthy UAW strike. Another sign of our recession, sales for Deere & Company during its third quarter are down 3% compared to a year ago. Even though farm equipment sales for the first nine months of this fiscal year are up, Deere's net income slipped by about $88 million. Largely to blame are sagging industrial equipment sales, overseas losses, and more costly sales incentive programs. Still, Deere is looking ahead to more favorable sales this fall and next spring.